Hey, everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having a lovely day because I'm about to ruin it. Uh, this is uh, regarding a company called Roku. I went over them. Recently, they seem to have a problem with the concept of consent. Uh, this is something I have gotten a lot of criticism for, not only in my comments, but also on Reddit because very often I will say that these companies have what I like to call a rapist mentality. They take part in practices where they don't really care whether or not you consent. They simply want you to, uh, to comply anyway. And very often they will use nefarious means to do this. And one of the reasons that I started using that phrase is because four years ago, you actually had $25 million invested by major automakers into the Coalition for Safe and Secure Data that did everything they could to convince Massachusetts voters that independent repairmen are, are rapists, that we're going to follow you through a parking lot, that we're going to uh, force your garage door open and then force ourselves on you. And they spend quite a bit of time in that commercial actually claiming that the majority of the uh, of, of people that advocate for sexual assault victims agreed with them that if right to repair gets passed, that you are going to be hurt. So I've kind of tried to do this thing where I, where I turn the word around and I take a word that has been used on us and I rightfully so use it on them. Because uh, unlike uh, the, the, unlike us who actually care about uh, the consent of our customers before we, we we take away their freedom, their privacy, their right to do what they wish with what you own, oftentimes the manufacturer is the one doing it. And I could not think of a better example than Roku. A few weeks ago, they decided that you're not allowed to use your television anymore unless you click agree on a screen that forces you into a forced arbitration agreement. You, you bought the TV without the agreement, but now you can't even switch to an HDMI input unless you accept the new terms. They held your television hostage unless you agreed. They wouldn't let you leave unless you said yes. That, in my opinion, takes a rapist mentality. But wait, it gets better because I said I was going to ruin your day and I don't think I've done it yet. This is a patent application from Roku and I'm going to summarize it for you. This is so that you could insert advertisements in between the device that has an HDMI output and the television. So this means that the television will be able to detect when you've paused content and it will be able to insert an advertisement into that content even if the content that you were using the HDMI part to view had no advertisements on it. Because apparently this is something that users are asking for. Let's read over the patent. HDMI customized advertisement insertion. When the media device pauses the media content, the display device can determine that a pause event has occurred and insert an advertisement shown on the display device. Further, some embodiments include determining the context and or content of the media content that is paused and determining an ad that is customized to the determined context or content displayed on the display device. Okay, so let's go over this. You... Okay, so let's go over this. So people will very often say that advertisements are justified because you did not pay for the content. So if you're viewing television via, you know, using an antenna like I did back in the 90s, and you have an antenna and you have your little VCR and you're recording it, you're not paying for that content. So the way that they monetize it is by having commercials. Or when you view YouTube, if you don't use YouTube Premium, you're, you're not paying for the content, you're not paying them for the hosting, you're not paying the creator. So you become the product and they will serve you an advertisement so that they can get paid. The argument is made that it's if you're not paying for the content, the way they fund it is advertisements. Uh, the problem here is that you purchased your television, and if I paid $100 or $200 for several seasons of, of a television show, like, you know, 24 or Heroes or something like that, the entire point of me paying full retail price is so that I do not have to see ads. The entire reason that I am using the HDMI input of the television and my own content is because I don't want to watch ads. I don't want to watch normal television with commercials. And above all, I don't want to use the garbage malware spyware ridden trash on your smart TV to watch television or to watch shows that are going to be filled with ads. I don't want the smart TV experience where I am being spied on and advertised to. So as a result, I will connect my own device to the television. The entire reason that I connect a Linux box to my television is because I want to avoid ads 
and I want to avoid being spied on. And I highly suggest the same for you. I have a YouTube channel with 2 million subscribers, and if you watch my videos and watch ads, I make money. In spite of that, on this channel, many times over the past 10 years, I have suggested that the people who watch this channel use something like uBlock Origin. I have something called PF Blocker on my router. I know, I know, OPN Sense is better. I don't want to reconfigure the whole thing from scratch. The point being, I make money when you watch ads. And I still suggest that you have ad blockers installed. The reason for that is that the one one hundredth of a penny that I get when you watch 50 or 200 of my videos is not worth the amount of time that you lose from that ad. I make such a negligible amount of money from something that is going to cause you uh, so much grief if you actually don't skip the ad that it's just, it, it, it's just not a fair ask in my opinion. So feel free to use an ad blocker. I'm saying that from, from my perspective. I encourage you to use ad blockers. The reason that I feel that using ad block is becoming not just uh, justified, but your moral and ethical duty as a consumer at this point is because the f we're at a point where paying full price for your television and paying full price for your content is not good enough. It doesn't matter. And again, this is one of the things that I keep talking about when I say changing the terms of the sale. Whether you're talking about a company deciding that you need to accept a forced arbitration agreement that was not there when you bought the product in order to use it, or we're talking about a company that says, hey, I know you paid full price for your television, and I know you paid $100 just to view this content without ads rather than viewing a recording from terrestrial television, uh, we're going to start ads into it anyway. You bought it without ads, but you're going to watch it with ads now. And this is part of a pattern that I've been going over with many companies, not respecting the concept of consent, not respecting the concept that there were terms of a sale that were set and that you cannot continuously change them. And let's not even get into the fact that the entire reason that I connect a Linux Debian desktop to my television is so that I don't have to deal with all the spying nonsense, is that you're trying to put that in here anyway. So again, the entire reason that I do not use the operating system that comes with my television is because by nature, it spies on you. By default, it spies on you. I do not want to hear any crap in the comments about how, well, you bought a Roku TV. Those things are cheap. You deserve your ads. Or, well, you're getting ads because you're using YouTube without paying. That's why you get your ads. No, 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 no. When you buy a top of the line television, the flagship LG television from a major brand. That thing costs over $3,500, an LG G3 OLED 77 inch. I will show you at the end of this video the settings that are on by default in this piece of shit, whether it is settings related to the television being able to see which content I'm viewing or a little button that says, do not sell my information that by default is turned off in a piece of shit that I paid $3,500 dollars for. That is an excuse that people use when they want to, to shit on people. This is when you have people going, oh, you use Android, you must be poor. Oh, you use a PC, you must be poor. Oh, you drive an F-150, you should get a Silverado. Oh, you have a Silverado, you deserve to it to break. You should have got a Dodge Ram. It, it's one of these things that we use to just kind of fight against each other rather than look at the people that are actually screwing us. In this case, the entire reason that I wish to use my Debian Linux desktop with my television is because I don't want it to spy on me. And my television, as I will show you, in the video at the end of this, my little like LG anti-sponsor, is that my television is telling me in no uncertain terms in big font on a 77-inch screen that it is spying on me. So I decide, you know what? I'm not going to use that. I'm going to connect my own HDMI cable to my television so that I could watch my content without being spied on, without my data being sold by default, and without ads. So what you said is, you know what? You don't want to use my system. You don't want to use my spying system. You don't want to use my ads. You don't want to deal with my trackers. Fuck you. I'm going to put those on the HDMI inputs anyway. You want to try and plug something into this TV? I'm going to watch what you're doing. You want to plug something without ads into this television that you actually fucking paid for? Suck it because I'm going to put ads on it anyway. That, that's where we're going. And again, to, to be clear at this point, it's not even about me suggesting that you use Adblock. I am suggesting that it is your moral and ethical duty to go out of your way to avoid advertising at all costs. Because this industry stopped caring about consent a long time ago. And it's becoming more and more obvious as you read patents like this and as you see what companies are doing. To be clear, again, this YouTube channel, it is, I do not have sponsors in this video. And when you look at the way I talk about companies, whether LG, Lenovo, or anybody else, it never will. It just, it's not happening. It's, it's, it's like, I know that. The, the only route that this channel has to actually make money is ad revenue. And I am going out of my way to suggest, dare I say it, to beg you 
you block origin, PF block or NG, whatever the hell the equivalent is in OPN sense, go out of your way to block every single ad humanly possible. If you like a creator, if you like what they do, if you really want to support them, find a link, send them something. And to be clear, you could watch dozens of my videos. I'm going to get a fraction of a penny. If you want to support content creators, if you want to support journalists, if you want to support your actual local newspaper, find a way to pay for the content or find a way to send them something directly. But we need to kind of start standing up against this industry because this entire industry is becoming just so predatory and so disgusting to the point where like, every single piece of data must be mined from every user. And I, it, it drives me so nuts when I read comments from people saying, you bought something cheap, you signed up for that. I never fucking consented to LG selling my personal data. But they assume that I did. I never consented to a Roku television being able to tell what I'm watching and inject ads into my material. But they think that that's what I'm doing. And when I, when I say no, when I say I don't want to use the smart system on the TV, I want to plug in my own, they think it is appropriate to tell me to go F myself because we're going to put the ads there anyway. Don't buy this shit. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now. This here is an LG G3 OLED television that also has cat scratchers on the side. That's my way of trying to bribe my cat into not scratching my speaker. We'll, we'll see if that works. In all seriousness, this is in the menu of this television. If you go in this me at any one of the default profiles and you go to privacy and terms, what you'll notice with a smart television is there's an option called do not sell my personal information. And because we live in a dystopian world, this option is not by default checked. It should be the default when you pay over $3,000 for a television that you do not sell my personal information. But even when you pay that much for a television, the default is that they will sell your personal data, which is why you should never connect a television to the internet, particularly when these televisions have microphones built into them that allow them to listen to what it is you say in your living room. There are many other settings hidden in here that talk about being able to see what it is you're watching or what you're doing to be able to make recommendations to you and personalize advertisements to you if you browse around the television. And 100% of those options is the consumer unfriendly option and the advertiser grabs your data, sells it, and uses it however they please option.